I've been put down I've been called all the names They try to bring me down again and again I've been left out Then they asked me where I've been Put me in the corner where I couldn't be seen. Tracing the big D here on Fraser Coast FM. And Michelle Little's got a brand new album out. It's called Invincible. And later tonight, we're going to be featuring the title track, Invincible. And she joins us now. Congratulations on the new music, Michelle. Thank you very much. Thanks for having me. Must be a big thrill to have that out and about. Yeah, it's been quite a process getting it started and finished. But it's so good to have it out there in the in the world and what was michael carpenter like to work with on this album oh i don't know if you know michael yes know him well yeah yeah. it was just a dream it's just you know i'd take in my little demos that you know just me and the guitar and i think this could be a song and he would just take it and make it into a song that i you know never even dreamed it could be so yeah it was just great having him on board there's something special about that love hurts studio that it's able to capture people's individual ability whether it's their musical their vocals whatever it is it's just brilliant yeah. I think, you know, working with Michael, what I found was, you know, we'd go in and we'd have a chat. The first thing we would do in every session was just have a chat, not necessarily about the song, but then we would bring it back around to the song and we would talk about what the song could be. You know, a lot of times when a song is just you and the guitar, it could go in any direction. Maybe it's a bluegrass song, maybe it's a modern contemporary sound, or something so having that chat and you know some songs michael and i when we first listened to, uh, he'd sort of oh we're going to go in this direction i said no 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 this is what i'm thinking and he'd go oh okay yeah now i get what you're on about you know just listening to each other and i think that's the biggest thing having worked with other producers in the past where you know sometimes you sort of bring your own agenda to the board and i think really listening to what the artist wants and wants to achieve is a huge thing they do there one of the things i picked up on this track is that there's a bit of mandolin it seems to be at the end of some of the lines it just adds so much it's just a little touch but so much whose idea was that well i have to say michael is the maestro he You know, we'd sort of sit down and go, okay, I'd sort of say, look, I want it to sound like I could get up with a band and play it anywhere. You know, that's what I wanted to achieve. So all the instruments, uh, instruments that he had there in the room, basically, that he'd go, you know what, what do you think about adding a little bit of this to it or whatever? And he'd just grab the instrument down off the wall and play it. The only session musos we had playing on it were Luke Moller, who is absolutely fantastic genius on the fiddle, and Jai Perry Banks on the slide guitar. We also had his brother Zane Banks come in and do a little bit of banjo on one of the tracks. But yeah, everything else is Michael. Sometimes we'd sit there and go, I just need something and look around the wall and go, okay, what can we put on here? I have to admit, I did push him out of his comfort zone on a couple of the tracks with his piano skills. (laughs) But yeah, it was great just watching him put the songs together. So what to next for Michelle Little? Well, I'm hoping at some point this century I might be able to get out on the road and and actually play these songs to people. I've got the album launch has been rescheduled till November. So we're really, really crossing our fingers and toes and everything and really hoping that we'll be able to do that. And if not, then we're hoping to do something in Tamworth at the Country Music Festival. That's what's happening. Keep a look out for Michelle Little. You'll be able to do it on all of the socials, of course. Find out when the album's going to launch, is going to be there and get along and support it. It's a terrific album. It's called Invincible. And if you don't mind, Michelle, we might play the title track right now. That sounds great. Thanks, Darren. This is Michelle Little and Invincible.